Hello, this is Apocalyptic Hunter. Today I would like to talk to you about my custom knife sheath and the things that I keep in it. I bring when I go hiking, hunting, fishing, or basically when I'm doing anything in the outdoors. First off, I'm going to start with this. It is just some cheap Chinese thing that I got off of one of my survivor knives those ones that you get from like Taiwan they're like 20 bucks and it's like one of those hollowed handled ones and I actually thought it was pretty cool because it had a couple of things that I thought that I could do with it such as the spear so I could strap it to a stick and I could go spear a fish or uh, actually it's kind of neat but they're on the back right here it's almost like a flathead screwdriver so whenever my screws on my sheath get loose like right here they get loose it actually works perfectly to uh, screw them and make them a little tighter so that's pretty neat so that's why I have that next for fire and uh, some yeah just fire I have the Hablas fire steel see if I can get it to focus so give me a second please thank you all right oh. Havilus. Come on. There it is. Well, it's the Havilus Fire Steel. You can get it at their website for, I think, like $25, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it, please. <laughs> um, the reason why I chose this one uh, is, number one, because it's actually very thick in diameter, so it will last you a very long time. And in that long period of time, once you run out and it gets pretty messed up and you need to purchase a new one, you can actually unscrew this one from the green tip right here. And you could just go straight to the website and buy a completely new one and they'll send it to you. So, that's one cool feature about it. Another one is this right here. It, it's separated with the uh, little o-ring it's a little orange o-ring there's a, it's another cap that you can unscrew and at this moment um i have like four or five uh water purification tablets that uh i've never tried out but i thought it was pretty neat so i got that so that's why i have that next i would like to show you my Lynchmade bone collector series gut hook it is very dirty at the moment because yes i do use it a lot uh most I've ever used it was about two months ago. Uh, I went hog hunting with a friend of mine, and we did real good. And we shot at least 20-something hogs. And I got a very good use with it. So that was pretty neat. Uh, <clears throat> I keep it right here in its sheath. I just put it on my custom sheath. And it's actually pretty cool how the way it sets up. So... Another thing I purchased a while back was the Benchmade Field Sharpener. You could go on their website and it runs for about 20 bucks. At least that's how much I paid for it. Uh, it's very small because that's really the only thing I needed. I didn't need anything bigger. But it's pretty neat. If you need to just tone up your blade, make it a little bit sharper for when you're cleaning your animal. Uh, it works perfect. Uh, I sharpened my Buck 110 right here a few weeks ago, and it's razor sharp. Uh, it's very awesome. <laughs> well, now since I brought that up, I'm going to show you Buck 110. It is a very good all-round knife that you can get for the price, which is actually not that bad. <laughs> and if you treat this knife right, it'll leave. Uh, it'll uh, last your lifetime. And here is my favorite of all, my Benchmade Atomus. This is the fixed blade style. The brother version of it is a very big folding knife. And uh, I almost got it, but then I actually switched it up and got a different Benchmade. I'll show you that one in a video, I don't know, maybe in a little while. But it's very nice. Uh, it's real thin, which is all right. Sometimes it gets a little uncomfortable when I'm using it for a long duration of time, but it works very nice. It is very good for skinning because of the blade style, the drop point blade style. 
it has a little saw right here which is actually very good for cutting like a uh, rope like a uh, very thick rope it's better than dulling up the fine edge so you could cut it with this and it works very well and another cool thing I used it for when I was cleaning the hogs a while back I was just messing around and saying hey I wonder if I could uh, cut the bone like cut some ribs or something with it and I did and it actually worked pretty well uh, I used the fire steel right here it's not as good as the buck 110 does it but it'll get you by uh, I like the finger guard right here because of the jumping right here so you have it right here then you have it another right here you could choke up right here in case you're carving some wood or something uh, I have it wrapped with some 550 cord uh, I got it with the reflector stuff because at night sometimes you drop your knife and being you know, it's a black knife and this only would make sense to have some reflector paracord. Then I just came up with a little lanyard loop that I put on it. Uh, I think it's called the hangman noose. You could find it on other videos on YouTube. But it's actually not that bad. Uh, it's actually real bloody right now. I haven't cleaned it in a while. I need to clean it now that I think about it. Alright. Well, hey, Joe, did you... Uh... Yeah. I'm just asking because I saw a bit. He needs water again. Okay, I'll give him water. I'll see him. He's hiding. He needs some water and pee again. Okay. What are you doing? I made a YouTube channel. <laughs> right now you're interrupting me. You're supposed to ask to put anything on mine. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, you need to ask. It's right. Sorry about that. That was just my dad. All right. Now moving on to my custom sheath. The person I made, or person I picked to make it online was J R E Industries. Uh, they make very, very, very nice uh, leather works. I got this style uh, sheath. is called the Cricket style and I wanted to get it with fire steel loop comes with that and also I wanted the dangler because when I'm hiking I put it on my hip and it hangs low so that way when I'm wearing a hiking pack or anything it uh still it's still there you don't have to reach so high up to your hip whenever you're wearing it traditional uh, it also is set up for scout style uh, I never really enjoyed that style I just that's my opinion I tried it once and I never was gonna do it again so nope oh, their emblem is right here oh, wait a sec. Is that right there that's their emblem it's very nice I mean they do absolute great work I mean the stitching is wonderful I've had this sheath for at least two years two three years now and it's very great uh I put 20, 25 feet. I've noticed some more of that reflective paracord on there. I really don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but I had a bunch of extra, so I decided to put it right there. And really, I guess it's just for show until I actually could come up with something to use it for. <laughs> so, that's my sheath. Um, it's, I can't, there's not enough words that can describe how awesome this thing is. It took at least, the day I ordered it, it took the guy, I think about at least two weeks to make it, and then if I'm right, it took another five weeks for him to get it in. And I actually, I ordered it because I wanted it, to, it'll, it was my Christmas present, so I ordered it and it actually arrived right on time for Christmas. So it was very great. <laughs> Well, guys, this is my setup. Uh, fish spear, my Benchmade Bone Collector Series gut hook, my Benchmade Field Sharpener, Buck 110, Benchmade Atomus, Habilis Fire Steel, and Custom JRE Industries Knife Sheath. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. This is Apocalyptic Hunter signing out.